Hello everybody, I am Suman Matthews and welcome to my next lecture on permutations and combinations. Here we deal with the topic of combinations. So we learn what are combinations and how to evaluate them, properties of combinations and applications of combinations in word problems. So what is a combination? By a combination we mean a selection of objects. An NCR is the number of ways of selecting R objects from N objects. For example, uh, now NCR is governed by the formula NCR is N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. So 5C2 will be 5 factorial by 2 factorial into 5 minus 2 that is 3 factorial. So an easy way of computing is we start from 5 and go back 2 times. 5 into 4 start from 1 and go up to 2. So it is 10. Similarly 6C3 we start from 6 go back 3 times and start from 1 and multiply up to 3. So you get 6 into 5 into 4 by 1 into 2 into 3 which is 20. The students can use this using the calculators as well but uh, certain syllabi and competitive exams do not allow students to use calculators. So this is a useful technique to remember. So there are some basic properties namely NCN is 1, NCR is NCN minus R, this is an important property, NC0 is 1 and NCR plus NCR minus 1 is N plus 1 CR. So property 2 and 4 are used very often. So coming to questions, evaluate 13C6 plus 13C5. So this is of the form NCR plus NCR minus 1 which is N plus 1 CR. So I get 14C6 which is 3003. Coming to question 2, if 27C3R is 27CR plus 3, find R. So 27C3R is 27C27 minus R plus 3. We use the property NCR is NCN minus R. And why do we use this? Because if we put 3R is R plus 3, you get R is 3 by 2, which is a fraction, which is not possible. So we use this property. So 3R is 27 minus R plus 3 and solving we get R equal to 6. Question 3. 12 people meet in a room and each shakes hands with all the others. Find the number of handshakes. So we are selecting the number of ways of select finding the number of ways of selecting 2 out of 12 because at a time only 2 people can shake hands so we are selecting the pairs out of 12 that is 12 c2 which is 12 into 11 by 1 into 2 which is 66. Next question a team of 11 players has to be selected from 16 players how many of them will include 2 particular players and exclude 2 particular players. Since two particular players are included, we are selecting 9 out of 14 players. And this can be done in 14 C9 ways, that is 2002 ways. And in the second case, two players are excluded. So we are selecting 11 out of 14 players. And this can be done in 14 C11, which is 364 ways. So when two players are included, there is a different answer. And when two players are excluded, also the answer is different. Question 5. There are 6 boys and 3 girls in a, in a class. A committee of 5 is to be selected. What is the number of ways if there is at least 1 girl in the committee? So we need, we have 6 boys and 3 girls. We can have 1 girl, 4 boys or 2 girls, 3 boys or 3 girls, 2 boys. Why can't we have 4 girls, 2 boys? Because there are only 3 girls. And we need at least 1 girl. So we can't have all boys also. So these are the possible combinations. So your number of possible ways will be 3C1 into 6C4. Two girls can be selected from three girls into 3C2 into 6C3 plus 3C3 into two boys can be selected from six boys in 6C2 ways. So simplifying you get the answer as 120. There are 12 points in a plane of which five are collinear. These points are joined in pairs. Find the number of straight lines formed. So number of straight lines is 12C2. That is you are selecting at a time two points. If you join you get a line. So you get 12C2. Now 
Now, five points are collinear, so we they just form one line that is plus one here, and we delete minus five C two because the five collinear points will give only one line. So this is because number of ways of selecting two points from twelve points is twelve C two, which we have here. Since five points are collinear, we subtract five C two because they form one line. But these five points form one line, so we add one. In the answer, twelve C two minus five C two plus one, which is fifty seven. Next question: An exam has two parts, A and B. A has six questions and B has seven questions. A student has to answer ten questions, choosing at least four from each of A and B. In how many ways can this be done? So A has six questions and B has seven questions. So your possible choices are four from A, six from B, or five from A, five from B, or six from A, four from B. Because there are totally ten questions, and a student has to attempt at least four from each section. So that is six C four into seven C six. Five courses can be selected from six courses in six C five into seven C five plus six C six into seven C four. So that would give you two sixty six as the answer. So we have learned what are combinations and how to evaluate them, basic properties of combinations and applications of combinations in word problems. Thank you and join me in my next session, which is the last session and has mixed problems on permutations and combinations.